This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics. Uh, we're located in Tucson, Arizona, right off I-10 at Prince Road. We uh, sell our vehicles on the internet. Um, and, let's see, let's get started here. This is an 07 F250 uh, crew cab, 6.0 diesel. It has, was it, 38,000 miles. Um, it's two-wheel drive. It's a Lariat. Um, it was an insurance theft recovery. Uh, we purchased it from an insurance company. Uh, as they do about 8 and 10, they just left it as a salvage title. They recovered the car after they wrote a zillion dollar check for this one. And then uh, they just hand over the salvage title when they sell it at auction. And that's what happened here. They just don't want the liability of saying it's a good car because they don't know what happened to it. And they don't want anyone suing them. So we get to save a ton of money over a piece of paper. This one's pretty nice little truck. I mean, gosh, with the miles, a little bit of touch-up paint would help. A little scrape on the wheels. The tires look like they're about 40 or 50 percent. I pretty much drive it anywhere on the set of tires it's on. Um, probably would need tires in the next 5,000 or so miles. It's got a little thing here on the bumper. A little touch-up there. Well, none of the touch-up was done by us, by the way. A little thing on top of the fender. Um, let's see. Nothing really else to see. Oh, I see a little touch up right here and right there. Of course, it's black, so it's going to show everything. Looks like there's a little ding right here in the bumper. Tires are actually better than I thought they were. They're at least 50%. This lens is cracked. We would have replaced it. These things are like $120. And if you can find a used one that's all broken except for this piece, someone would probably sell that lens for $10. I just could not do a $180 light for that lens or, or mirror for that lens. There's nothing going on here. This little piece of plastic on the running board is unclipped. There's a little push-in dent right there. I'm not sure. We got a little bit of road rash on here. This is normal towing stuff. I think the guy who owned this was probably the foreman because there's a paint spilled in the bed. And someone wanted to get into his bed and probably steal his tools because they broke the lock cylinder out of the tonneau cover. So I would say it was the big boss man's truck. Anyway, see this? This goes in it. See what they did to the lock cylinder. So we're trying to find one of these lock cylinders, but we didn't want to wait on putting this online. I'm not sure if we can or not. I'm being told to go to like uh, aftermarket truck places and see if we can. There we go. Anyway, that's my proof of the. Uh... Only a very wealthy guy <laughs> does this, unless they stole the bed liner. But it doesn't look like it ever had a bed liner. Anyway, it's got a nice uh, tonneau cover, though. That's expensive. All right. Put this down. Put that in there so no one breaks it. Anyway, that's that. Bumper looks great, which is unusual with the parking sensors. You can see these little cracks here. Anyway, you're not buying this for a show truck, although it's, it's a pretty good-looking truck. You know, if it was white and it had this stuff on it, you would never notice 97% of it. But it's black. And we just had a windstorm, so it's still dusty. I just got it out of detail, and it's already dusty. There's a couple little things here. But it drives and runs like brand new. I think I saw something right there. Looks like a touched up scratch. And another one right there. This is how they broke into the truck. They put a little tool right underneath there. But you can see the door works fine now. Um, let me show you under the hood. Okay, that's an annoying buzzer. All right. There's your 
There's your passenger fender with all the original stuff here. It hasn't been taken apart. No, it has not been in a wreck. That's not why it's salvaged. It's theft. Talk to a friend or somebody or listen to our videos on other cars and maybe I'll give you a better explanation than I have here. Basically, Allstate saying or State Farm or whoever the insurance company is here, there's the other VIN stamp for the Ford. That, if they give it a clean title after it was stolen and you go and run a stoplight and your attorney finds out that Allstate used to own the car, that uh, they're going to get sued at Allstate for like $9.7 million. So they'd rather lose 20 grand or whatever, 10 grand on this truck now than uh, in the future. Right. Dusty there. The uh, interior of this truck is nice, really nice. Carpet looks good. The seats look great. Got a sliding power sliding window. Back seat looks like nobody's been in it, which is kind of common for these. Usually it's a single guy or a husband and wife towing their fifth wheel or something like that. Really good shape inside. There's your vent. Let's see if I can shield the sun here a little bit. There you go. Anyway, that's the bin sticker. The seats are in just fantastic condition. They're dual power seats. They are not heated. There's a little something right there on the driver's seat. It's not a hole. It's like some, I don't know. I'm spilled on it. Anyway, Lariat. Let me get in the sky and get going here. I've got 10 minutes to do a video. bubbling here on the center console. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm not sure what caused that. Sorry about the sun. This is the wrong time of day to do this. It's like 3 in the afternoon and 2 something. It's kind of warm today. It's like 75 or so. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to have a cold snap and get down to 60 something. Anyway, there's the radio. Oh yeah. That's the sign that's been at the detail shop. That would be Mexican music. There's your, uh, they didn't even take off the sticker here. Let's see, there you go. And you got all these auxiliary, I don't know what all that stuff is for. That's for the professional tow guy, which isn't me. There's the uh, power slider. Let's see. You got your miles there. Run a little systems check. Fanny temperature on top and the engine temperature. It's been running for about an hour and a half. We've had it running for a while. We like to let them run for a while and make sure that they're okay. 35,173 is the miles. There's an adjustable pedal control. You can see it moving there. And you got your. Oh my god, that's horrendous. Oh my god. Kill me. I can't listen to that. Anyway, all right, let me turn this AC down a little bit. Blowing ice cold. Truck runs like brand new. Um, this thing really needs nothing aside from a lock cylinder, and maybe if you want to get a little more touch up paint and make it look a lot prettier with a little bit of touch up paint. Um, like I said, we're all over the internet with these things. We're have quite a reputation on eBay. Um, we're 306 for 306 on eBay if you want to check us out there. Um, great feedback there. Um, 